Okay, hello dear friends. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful sunny Saturday afternoon and uh, I am doing uh, a video compilation of uh, my backyard and some tea, some uh, tedious stuff some uh, magazine some uh, blah 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 and uh, etc 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 And uh, our cherries start to show up. And a fig. I think we have. A, I think we have two feet. olive tree does not seem producing yet not yet the season keep on walking So my husband wanted to eat one. I say no. After I finish the video, <laughs> we will eat one. And the fig. Let's move slowly. I am sorry if I did too fast. Oh, I love this flower. Look at this. And that uh, car noise is uh, car sound. Is our neighbor have uh, our neighbor has a vintage old decapotable convertible car, and uh, it's a shining orange gold color. It's really fun. Australia bottle brush. And uh, this is a bougainvillea, 
I think some of it, no, no, it's not bad. We have cut it quite a, a big time. What is going on here? This is our backyard from the other side. Bougainvillea starting. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I... the rats. All our fruits are eaten by the rats and we have a lot of fig coming up. The first season, <gasps> blueberry, not yet good, and framboise. Oh, raspberry. Oh, wow. Already too good. Ooh. Look at it. Wow. Raspberry. Aren't they beautiful? Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. And then blueberry. Hmm? This one does not have much blueberry. A tiny, tiny, tiny blueberry there are some mm -hmm. mm, very very sweet the orange is not doing that good the flower and the flower, this perfect flower. I will not use this table because it's uh, uh, there are a lot of tree drops here, so it's not that comfortable. And a new rose opening up. And rose, lemon, now blackberry. This one is blackberry. And the tree, I got one friend ask what this is. This is blackberry, the tall one. The whole tree was covered with blackberry. The whole wall was covered. And uh, every year we make around 10, 20 bottles of jam or 30, something like it. And this one is gooseberry, never coming up yet might be too early ah yes starting to come up see can you see it small gooseberry this is the only one we have any more no not yet gooseberry and oh there are some more see these are gooseberry and uh, the skin is very thin, very transparent, quite sour. And this one is goji flower, goji berry flower. We should have some goji berry already. Yes, starting to come up and will become like uh, little red uh, tea drops, teardrops. 
very beautiful goji berry and another gooseberry they, maybe winter was too cold they were not so happy starting to come back this might be dead dead and uh, I will sit here to have a cup of tea and our bougainvillea is coming out this beautiful color because of sunshine so that one does not uh, is being bullied because it does not have sunshine and bougainvillea need, needs uh, sunshine and this one is purple color bougainvillea the purple one is being bullied for not having enough sunshine but this red one is uh, really blooming with uh, under the sunshine. The more sunshine it has, the prettier it is. See that one? I love, oh, there are some of these purple color growing up to here. You see, it's a mixture. It's a mixture of uh, red and uh, purple. And uh, our little minuscule garden. So I think it's about two or three weeks ago, my husband bought it and asked me to do the design. <laughs> he can do it, of course, but he just wants me to do some, some of the work. So I designed the tall one, uh, the outside kind, and there are low, there are tall, there are color differentiation, and, uh, and that is it. Wow, look at the little apples. These are the little apples. Wow, we will have a lot of apple before the rats eat them all. Sorry for the airplane. And this is the pear, Espalia pear. And we have um, Hortensia, which is quite typical Bordagne. See, oh, starting to open up. Hortensia Hydrangea, I think it is called. And we have a rose, which is uh, hiding behind. Not so happy. Let me see if I can find the rose oh yes here i will walk in this rose deserved to be noticed they were not in the right place so but see the perfect flower and this one oh it needs deserved to be seen so it's not happy. I think we will think about something, at least put a, a stick up or even move it to some other places. Isn't it pretty? Now I am hidden in the... This one, I forgot what it is, but uh, sometimes you put too many things then there is no way for everyone have a happy development. But that bougainvillea, look at it. Isn't it pretty? Okay, tea time. Such a beautiful day and beautiful time. We deserve to savor it with uh, 
something beautiful. So I put my tea. Can you see it? This video is kind of a blind video because uh, my camera is uh, is broken and uh, let's see the flower opening up there is this fragrance of uh, chrysanthemum flower. I am not a big fan of any flower uh, a fragrance, but uh, well, this is nature. Anyway, so we will see it opening up. And I say this uh, video is kind of a blind video because my camera is broken. I cannot see the screen. It's uh, the camera screen is broken. It's like uh, like your son's iPhone, it's always broken, right? <laughs> For some reason, it is always broken. And uh, your iPhone can, or, or your, your, your cell phone can last forever and ever, never got broken. But uh, once it is in your son's whole hand, and then it suddenly become broken. Anyway, um, so the 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 camera screen is broken. I cannot see what I uh, what you are seeing in this video. So I was just guessing, and if this camera is in the right angle, look at it. I have something uh, I got ready to show you. Um, let me move around here. Can you see that? Uh, that swimsuit, I bought a new pair of, uh, a new piece of swimsuit and I have some magazine ready so that we can read. It's uh, a perfect, uh, perfect day, so. And also, this light is not that good. Maybe because, because let me move around again. You see the shade? I am using a shade Hava, Hava, Havaiana. So we got it in Australia and we took it back home all the time. And uh, in uh, in a uh, in Australia, there was one time in Manly Beach, there was this uh, uh, surfing competition, and we saw one of the most famous female surfer of that time, let's say 10 years ago. And uh, that was really cool to see the surfers. We went to surfing every weekend, and uh, they gave out this free uh, free uh, sombrella and also I think maybe some uh, um, some uh, sandals or slippers flip-flop I forgot that but we kept this one and look at the background I will lower my camera I'm sorry you have to suffer my camera work and see the background flower so pretty, right? Okay, now it's time for the magazine. I will pull up this camera so that we can see the magazine, I think. I cannot see what you are seeing. Put it. That is good. This beautiful tea. It will blow it away because it's light. Put this one inside it. Add up some of the weight. The glass is a little bit not so clean. Use my skirt. The good thing about it, it uh, 
It's not getting too hot. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the swimsuit, and it's uh, it's so pretty. I love it because it's a uh, it's just uh, such a pretty beautiful color. Okay, I put it aside, and um, it is not a, a race swimming suit, so uh, the texture is very, um, very, um, very smooth. So smooth is more or less like like um, like that race swimsuit and. Uh, very smooth. You go to the water, it's like silk. You can touch it and feel it's so smooth. This is uh, the good thing about it. And uh, another thing, it has uh, uh, a, a pad for for um, in front of your chest. So it has a chest uh, pad. So this is not a raised one, but it's very comfortable and it's very elastic. It's kind of more elastic than the swim, than the, the race suit. When you go to Olympic race, it is so tight that once you, boom, uh, for example, like this, touch your skin, it is like, bah, like, a, like beaten by something. Anyway, it's very, very tight. But this one is not that tight. It's relatively elastic. And I just love this color. They have a, a navy blue color, one plain color, which I like also. And also, it does not have this knot. I personally do not like that knot. Because uh, uh, when you swim, this uh, this will become something uh, that uh, uh, get water. It's uh, it's not a, um, a fluid shape. If you have just no knot, and it will be much smoother, right? From the the physical point of of view, the the physical force and the best use of energy. But this one is. Uh, it's not for <laughs> race, it is for feel pretty. And this is the shape of it. It's so pretty. Yeah. The shape of it. And when you wear on the, the waist, uh, skin slim down. Can you see it? Maybe you cannot see the whole picture of it. But, uh, and there are navy blue and white only two colors pattern design and it's very impactful and also i was thinking this is so pretty so 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 pretty to wear on your body as a swimsuit why do i choose the most most prettiest so i bought this one and the price is not that expensive and um I think I can afford to buy one, but uh, nature cannot afford that we buy too many things. Our planet cannot afford us to buy too many things and leave it idle, not using it. So I bought one because when you have everything, nothing is to be enjoyed. When you have only one thing, you first enjoy it enjoy with the proud of uh, this is the only one but at the same time you enjoy it with the regret that there is something else also good similar good and almost as good or at some point even better but i choose you so it's like finding a job it's like anything in our life. When this is one thing and the only thing, then there is this solitude and there is no pressure. When you have something good and another thing similar good, but you choose from one, from two of the best thing, but happiness 
becomes much happier when there is a dash of regret. That is my word of the day. <laughs> my word. My word of the day. My thought of the day. Okay. So let's take a look at some magazine. Please excuse me for the airplane sound.